Okay, you guys. Let's do the Globe magazine, the Globe tabloid magazine tonight. Um, or maybe we could fall asleep. Hopefully it'll be relaxing. And a reminder. Turn, turn down your brightness on your device. And turn down your contrast. So that your screen isn't so bright if you're watching it on the video. Um, that way, it won't be so bright. And so that way, it won't have um, trouble with your brain. Because your brain can't relax very well if it's too bright. America's original double bubble popcorn box. Artificially flavored popcorn box. Okay, so here we have the globe. Queen Kate's War with Dye's brother. Hmm. stories about like Princess Diana and Queen and Kate. Now they're just everyday girls and they end up to be royalty. Isn't that cool? So, uh oh. We have the same story. Diane Keaton. Well, Inquirer did the same thing. She's eating out of the dumpster, but she's not. Al Pacino, P Pacino, millionaire Al Pacino can't resist searching for more buried treasure when he thinks no one is watching. Oh my goodness, picking his nose. There's a mind bender with Jacqueline Smith. She's trying to figure out how to do. And then, oh, Phil, Dr. Phil, they have him pigging out. Oh boy. Goldie Hawn has body trouble. Former cutie patootie Goldie Hawn is so tarnished lately that she looks like a totally different person. Oh my goodness. Cowboy Blake rides to Gwen's rescue and defends lover against char charges tourist tank uh, her tourist tanking. And then insiders say that Blake Shelton may go on tour with Stefani to pump up attendance. Gwen's show had empty seats, but Blake claims it was a full house at the ranch. That's true. I can't believe she would have an empty brother. I don't know if that's true or not. Johnny Depp's 95-pound daughter needs help now. The teen model is wasting away, says the dog. On that, Johnny Depp's 17-year-old daughter, Lily Rose, is looking very, scary skinny. Here she was in 2016, and 20, I mean 2015, 2016. Oh boy. That could be true, because you do have to be skinny. 
Let's see. Kate saves Princess Diana's legacy. William's uncle wanted to turn Princess Diana's grave into a tourist attraction. But Kate is disgusted by the Spencers and their plan to for all for which the couple shared with the Today Show is Cynthia McFadden. Earl Charles Spencer's wife, Karen, has outraged Kate by flirting with Prince William. Oh, brother. Queen Elizabeth is a cheapskate. Queen Elizabeth is still demanding the royal treatment as she enters retirement. She wants a traveling dishwasher who will be on call 24 hours a day at Buckingham Palace and Windsor Castle for a measly $22,000 a year. The ad for the lousy pay says they will assist the royal cooks by maintaining the wash-up environment and ensuring that our chefs and assistants have all they need to deliver hundreds of meals every day. I don't know what all this is all true. Some of this some of this stuff is just terrible. Hollywood Star Wars. Trump versus Clinton. Who's backing who? Okay, so John Voight is on Trump's side. Lou Ferrigno, Loretta Lynn, Teresa Goodice. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. <coughs> Excuse me. Loretta Lynn. Oh, there's that. Stephen Baldwin, Kid Rock, Gary Busey, Wayne Newton. Oh my gosh, is that Wayne Newton right there? Hulk Hogan, Ted Nugent, and Jesse James. And supporting Clinton, we have Lady Gaga, Barbara Streisand, George Clooney, Tony Bennett, Christina Aguilera, John Bon Jovi, Cher, Ellen DeGeneres, Ted Danson, Morgan Freeman, Sally Field, and Last but not least, Rosie McDonald. Interesting. How bomb-toting robot ambushed evil Dallas Sniper. Dallas police chief used this robotic device to deliver a bomb of justice. Oh my goodness. George Bush's Alzheimer's meltdown. Bizarre boogie during ceremony saluting the cops. Was President Bush feeling the spirit of the Battle Hymn of the Republic or the Alzheimer's rumor? Or is the rumor about Alzheimer's true? Mm. Boy. Celebrity buzz. Gwyneth Paltrow is banned. Oh, she's branded. I mean, she's branded as a backstage stabbing bitch. I thought it said she was banned from backstage. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, supposedly, she's named the most hated celebrity. Gwyneth Paltrow is now as a vicious lying brat. Turn your back on Gwyneth and she'll likely talk trash behind your back. Comedian and Hollywood insider Julie Klausner says Gwyneth and her Tinseltown pals, they're all phonies. They pretend they're close, but the stuff that is said about people behind their backs is terrible. 
So, Gwyneth, so bizarre, convincing. I'm sure she says, just look at how she cozy, Gwyneth cozies up to Jay-Z and Beyonce to keep her relevant. Brother, who are you going to call? Dan Aykroyd and Donna Dixon were spotted at uh, the remaking of Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. And then here we have someone's underwear, Ariel Winter, Modern Family. And I guess she's, you could see her underwear in her dress. Giamatti lacks Italian dressing. Paul Giamatti. He's Italian, but he doesn't get to play in Italian. Because he says, I'm not Italian enough. Kim Kardashian is worried about having a third child with Kanye. Because she's afraid it will change her plumbing down there. Celebrity Buzz. And here we have Orlando Bloom and Bobby Christina have been barely dead a year and it looks like Bobby Brown and his wife Alicia Etheridge are both having Replacement. Here, oh, look how pretty that is. Royal Legacy. Look at that ring from a Bradford Exchange. Four installments of $25. Diamond-esque simulated diamonds. Isn't that pretty? It's inspired. Royal Legacy. That was pretty. Nasty Nick Nolte. Just weeks to live. What? Dazed alcoholic wandering the streets in filthy clothing. That's crazy. There's Nick Nolte, was a rising star back in the 70s, and now he's down and dirty. Spies caught the three-time Oscar nominee dressed like a bum while eyeing the booze in the booze department in downtown Malibu. Get 28 issues of the globe for only two of the five an issue. John Cho. And pain relief. Soothing gel. Fits like a glove. Cushion the ball, cushions the ball of your foot for helps relieve, relieve pains from hammer toes, bunions, arthritic joints, plantar fasciitis. Monster mom mode down. What? Tortured daughter. Kills scammer who kept her prisoner in a wheelchair. I slashed the fat pig and raped her sweet 
daughter. Her screams were so loud. Oh my gosh. This guy right here, Nicholas. Oh, they're talking about this girl, the daughter. butchered her mother. Let's see. Gypsy was forced to live in a wheelchair by fra by her fraudster mom, Dee Dee, until she declared to seek revenge. So she killed her mother. And this was in Springfield, Missouri. I guess she put something on Facebook saying that the bitch is dead and that she was murdered and there's the scene of the crime. And there's guy Nicholas up here. Nicholas. Nicholas traveled to Springfield and Dee Dee was stabbed to death. And they stole $4,400 from her safe. Weird. Truck cops tracked the couple and arrested them two days later. Gypsy is now believed to be a victim of Moot Jawson syndrome, which is a form of child abuse where the parent fakes illness. This is of a well child. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what that is, more churchism. Crazy. Loafer beats shoe queen to death. Justin Smith beat his ex-wife with a bat. What? Darlene Flynn, who owned 15,000 pairs of shoes, was savagely murdered by her ex boyfriend. That's a lot of shoes. There's a picture. That's a lot of shoes. I don't even think I've had 15 pairs of shoes in my whole lifetime. The savage boy toy killed his famous shoe-loving ex-girlfriend, beating her to death with a baseball bat. A verbal abuse. She was a sharp tongue. Darlene, verbal abuse. And he couldn't help himself, but the judge said all you had to do was walk away. Beast is busted for burning a bunny. A 22-year-old is responsible for intentional burning of a domestic rabbit. And he faces animal cruelty charges. He was bitten by the rabbit, so he he ignited Bumper. Oh my goodness, crazy! I guess the rabbit bit him, so he caught him on fire. Here we have from the Bradford Exchange: A family's love grows ever strong. Family, where life begins, and love never ends. Celebrate what family means to you, and you can get it personalized for free. And with your family for seventy bucks. Mm, that's that's a, a neat item for people who love their genial family genealogy too. And plays the melody always in my heart. I don't know if I know that song. Fashion Verdict by Casey Madden. She knows the score. Sienna Miller gets a 9 out of 10. Teresa Good Dice. I don't know how to say her name. She gets a 4 out of 10. Portia De Rossi gets a 3 out of 10. Naomi Campbell gets a 10 out of 10. Here we have Celine Dion with a 2 out of 10. Fergie 
with a 3 out of 10, Charlize Theron with an 8 out of 10, and Alicia Vikander with 5 out of 10. But it doesn't matter. Like, who are these people that vote anyway? It doesn't matter, you guys. Photo find. Oh, I kind of like this. That looks like, what's her name? That girl that married uh, the country singer. She's in a new movie right now. But there's Anthony Hopkins. Michael Douglas. Paul Newman. Oh my gosh, I recognize the faces. Can't think of the name. See, I recognize that face. Can't think of her name. Paul Newman. Michael Douglas. I, th I know that guy. He was in... Dreyfus, Richard Dreyfus. That's oh, terrible. I can't remember their names. Kevin Daniels, Strength of Spirit. Bradford Exchange, $135. Teen Isles from the 60s. Bobby Rydell, he had a transplant because he was an alcoholic, kidneys, bouts of drinking, destroyed his kidneys, Bobby Rydell had a kidney transplant. Here's Brenda Lee. She had cysts on her vocal cord. She had to have an operation. Tommy Sands. Was he with Tommy Sands and the Shondells? Tommy Sands left with brain damage after beating. Tommy Sands suffers from dementia, believed to be the result of a savage beating that he suffered in 1990. He's 78, and he's in a care facility in Hawaii, battling dementia. Oh, no. In 1998, he was attacked at a North Hollywood convenience store by three robbers. Oh. Bobby Vinton won't wear a wedding ring. Bobby Vinton hid his marriage for years. And the record companies insisted he keep his marriage under wraps, believing he'd sell more if his fans thought he was single. That's why to this day he has never worn his wedding ring. He's 81 years old, father of five. He's retiring. I've had a great late life, and I pray to God every day for, and thank Him for all God has given me. I didn't know he, all that. Yeah, it's crazy. I do believe that the record company did do that. I do believe that. They do crazy things. Druggy Dion has battled heroin and alcohol demons. Now, he's wedded, married to his childhood sweetheart for 53 years. He's a father of three. The 77-year-old is clean and sober. He still records and performs, and he counsels other recovering addicts. Oh, my goodness. Nielsen. There's Dion. That's what he looks like now. S remember, um, Neil Sadaka. Then and now. Neil Sadaka robbed blind. He made a fortune during his heyday, but he has found himself broken, busted, 
because his mother, Eleanor, and her lover ripped him off, so he's now broke, busted, and disgusted. He's a father of two and wife of 54 years. He's still performing. And he was a guest judge on American Idol in 2003. You have to reinvent yourself. He said that's the secret. Oh, he has to rebuild his finance. Oh. Connie Francis's struggle for sanity. Remember her? Um, an unbearable tragedy has stopped Connie Francis, the plucky songbird. She's 77 years old now. Here she is in 1974. She was assaulted and crushed. And then was crushed by the slaying of her brother. Oh, her brother got killed and that crushed her. But in 1974, she was assaulted. A friend broke into her motel room and raped her after an appearance at the music fair in New York was brief. It, the assault was a seven year, kept her in seclusion for seven years and she underwent nasal surgery that silenced her voice for four years and it then had to endure her beloved brother George's shocking murder by the Mafia. In 81, her brother George was scraping ice off his windshield at the car in North Cabo, New Jersey, when two men walked up and shot him twice in the head. The mob hit was in retaliation for information that George gave on the Mafia. Oh my God. She's been battles, battling sanity for 17, during 17 visits in the psychiatric facilities. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Mm -hmm. Pat Boone's Miracle. Heartthrob Pat Boone still performs today, and oh, he's devotedly religious. The April Love crooner firmly believes that a miracle saved his grandson Ryan after he fell through a skylight, crushed his skull, and ended up on life support in a coma. 82-year-old singer who still performs his one-man show. Uh, Ryan, age 39, says that his grandson is so much better than anyone expected. Ryan is the proof that miracles do occur. Oh my goodness, yes. Do you guys believe in miracles? I really do. I, well, I have so many good stories I could tell you. I'm going to start a new section maybe once a week. The rambling when I just ramble on my gallery book. But I want to share like good stories. Real life true stories. And a lot of them are miracles I think. So be looking for that. I already did ram one rambling. Um, I don't know how good they are. I'm going to have to twist and tweak them. But, um, I think I posted it last night, my first ramble. My first coloring book and ramble. But yeah, I do believe in miracles and definitely guardian angels. So, I have a lot of good stories about miracles. Alright, Paul Anka can't find true love. There he is in and out. He was severely injured in an argument with second wife, Anna. What in the world? The 75-year-old ex-teen heartthrob's career is still going strong, but his love life is a flop. After 37 years, his marriage to his wife was over in the year 2000. After 37 He then fell for his personal trainer, 30 years younger, Anna. Then in 2005, they had a son named Ethan. 
Sunday, tied the knot, 2008. Now he's a battered husband. Anna threw a piece of ice at him, slashing his head. And he needed stitches, and they divorced in 2010. That's terrible. Oh, no. Health report. Um, CDC issues killer yeast alert. Doctors are on the alert for a deadly new yeast infection. What in the world? American doctors are racing to stop a deadly new drug-resistant strain of yeast infection that's been fatal in 60% of the cases. First identified in Japan seven years ago. Fatal fungus has been discovered in South Korea, India, Kuwait, South Africa, Colombia, Venezuela, Pakistan, and UK. This killer yeast called Candida auris has proven completely resistant to current antifungal meds. No, no way to fight the yeast strain. Oh my goodness. Mainly get it from long stays in the hospital where patients risk infection through contact. Stem cells eliminate root canals. Thanks to incredible medical breakthrough, root canals might be a thing of the past. Oh my goodness. Legal pot is a popular painkiller. Caffeine amps up hearing loss. The caffeine in your morning kava could hurt could hurt recovery from temporary hearing loss. A new study has found that a daily dose of caffeine can actually hurt recovery from hearing loss. Exposure to prolonged noise can cause temporary hearing loss, and they can reverse themselves within days or weeks. But researchers say after eight days of no caffeine, they had completely recovered and their hearing impair impairment. There was a negative impact. Oh, wow. That's, that's a good one. I'm going to mark this page. I like. That's good information about caffeine and hearing loss and this killer yeast. The Globe. How to enter the Globe Coloring Contest number 31. Color your favorite stars and you can win cash. That looks like um, Frasier. Okay, I'm going to save that page. Now, Christmas blessings. Nativity. Eliminated nativity rate with a 24-hour timer. It lights up, um, generally two feet in diameter, for $130 from the Bradford Exchange. That's right, August, September, October, November. Four months and Christmas is here. Oh my gosh. A $17 million hunt for JFK's secret love child. According to a 2001 will, Alicia Corning Clark left millions of her fortune to guys who worked at her New York apartment building. President paid off a socialite after knocking her up. FBI papers reveal. Oh my goodness. So... There's a secret love child from John F. Kennedy. And they left $17.5 million fortune. It's 
Somebody, Bannard says the document is void and that the whole 17 billion was left to the Humane Society. But he still wants to make sure that JFK's love child gets what he deserves. Crazy. See, stuff like this. How do you know if that's real? Housewives spark splits. Cynthia and Peter's marriage has gone bust. Now, says he was blindsided. Peter Thomas says Bravo's Real Housewives of Atlanta has sent his marriage to Cynthia Bailey in Splitsville and he didn't see it coming. Oh, terrible. Right there. Spot the evil twin. Were these celebrity lookalikes separated at birth? Johnny Halliday and Al Pacino? I don't think they look alike. Want to look and feel great again? Try Dr. Cabot's liver checklist. Liver tongue plus. Fatty liver will probably reduce your lifespan and will greatly reduce. You need to have a healthy liver. Liver tongue plus. Is it? it doesn't say. Horoscope, puzzles. Oh, that's right. Ren Renee's all weaker. Renee's face shot to Zell. Too many eject injections wrecked her looks. Then, I know, I do like her then. heard about that recently that when she made some kind of comment that it was that she didn't have any but anyways that's not even our business that they should be able to have some privacy if they want privacy Bridgetown uh, today I butchered my beautiful face this is the next thing they should enter into Bridget Jones diary top Medical experts all agree that she has clearly had extensive work done. Plastic surgeon out of New Jersey, but he has not treated the 47 year old actress. That's just his medical opinion. Renee shop fans when she hit the red carpet looking like a completely different person two years ago. And the Jerry Maguire cutie seems to have had several procedures since then. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's terrible. But I do think the original, her original face is just adorable. But she can, they can do what they want. But, see, Hollywood is sneaky. We think that it's a gossip person writing all this, but it could be her, her and her publicist wanting to write it because they need publicity because the story, truth about Hollywood is that any publicity is good publicity, good, bad, or indifferent. So, always remember that. Okay, post office stamps out Cheater Lance. Doper Lance Armstrong better bike to his bank because he owes the U.S. Postal Service $40 million for attaching his brand to American Hero. And now he's a liar and it's of no value to the post office. And now it's time for loser Lance to pay the postman. Even Kim Kardashian, what does this say? Even Kim Kardashian can't believe she's a star. Why is she famous? Someone asked her. She doesn't know. That's up for question. Some kid named Sid asked her, 
Why is she so famous? And she said, I don't know. I like the magazine. She shrugged about her massive financial ship. I guess sex tapes and reality shows weren't a kid-appropriate answer. So I just said, I don't know. A pill that can make you smarter? Dinah? Neurodyne? When you're looking for more than a simple memory pill for the elderly, dynamic neutral activator, Raxin 517. Oh, smart pill. I don't know about this. It says you could get a exclusive availability at Amazon.com. Get smart. I would be careful. More Matt Dillon shoots himself in the foot. We call the ban on guns. Even though he's in a movie with a ton of gun shooting, he shoots himself in the foot by calling up. FBI calls off the hunt for D.B. Cooper, but the Globe found the fugitive in Nepal. What? And supposedly, the FBI quit looking for him, but the Globe has found that a guy, he collected $200,000 mountain and escaped by parachuting from a jetliner into a fort side of Seattle, Seattle, Washington. Remember that? Forty some years ago, but now he's eighty-five year old. He became richer by using his hijacked money to fund a drug smuggling business, and they're saying that they found him in the ball. That's crazy. See, some of these stories—they're just who knows what they are. The T Bird and. Pink ladies are back. Grease. Sandy. The Hamilton Collection. How much? They don't say how much that. I guess it's a new series coming up. First is Sandy, then Rizzo, and then uh, Danny. Mary and Alabama Hunk, my 30 year affair with a married Alabama Hunk. Lying Randy Owen shattered my heart. <gasps> Randy Owen? Randy cheated on his wife 40 years. Kelly says, heartbroken Diane. That's right, he's a lead singer. Randy sent his mistress letters and wrote, You're a beautiful person to know. <gasps> oh my goodness. Well, I carried on a 30 year affair. He's 55 year old Diane. Was a heartbreaking bombshell. Poi at a Tennessee store. She feels foolish because the lying hound dog cheated on her, too. Not only does he have his wife, who's never going to leave, but there are other girls that he's promised all sorts of things to also. Oh, my goodness. Well, she published that celebrity news, and it's the world exclusive right there. So she probably got a ton of money. Who knows if it's true? Password puzzle, quiz test. Oh, friendship club. I'll have to read that in a separate video. And who is that? That looks like Kate Hudson to me. Or either Kate Hudson or a blonde um, Angelina Jolie. Tick, tick, tick. Oh. Who, let's see who that. Who is that? Who was it? 
time. Sleepy Holly turns Holly turns into his total snore moving. Remember Angela Lansbury, Murder She Wrote? She's coming back to TV. She's 90 years old. And she's going to make her comeback for HBO's Murders of a Mystery Game of Thrones. Mm, that's good. Oh, here, here she is. It wasn't... It was Project Runaway. Heidi Klum. I didn't know. Beyonce, Beyonce. I was really one of her concert tours. Brain Trainer, Word Square, Game Challenge, Abby Rose, Real Life Baby from the Ash and Dre Collection for $140. Cute. Um, classified. Bigfoot Ruined My Life. Infamous Sasquatch footage turned Cowboy's Life into a Nightmare. He and Roger Patterson filmed the real deal on Bigfoot, but it ruined his life. I know what I saw, and I know it wasn't a man in a suit. It could not have been. Oh, terrible. The Navy turned. There's a large count. American Sniper's metal posts were shot down. Oh. He's still a hero, no matter how. and content. The creepy Dr. Phil can't hide from the truth. All these accusations film across lawsuits says he supports free speech but apparently that doesn't include saying anything bad about him. He's being sued for holding staff hostage in a fit of rage, touching someone's breast, guilty of misconduct, I'm not gonna name that celebrity. Oh, take a survey of what you want to know about. Um, the King of Hollywood. Is that look Clark Gable? I'm sure that's Clark Gable, right? Hollywood flashback. With his dangerously sexy leading man looks, Clark Gable was screen ready, even when there was no movie camera. That's for sure. Look at that. Here he is, 1938, galloping. That was quickly as his career was also galloping. He was an Ohio-born high school dropout. A year later, he was on the big screen with Claudette Colbert. It happened one night. Oh my goodness. And then, Red Butler and Gone with the Wind. And then, She died in a plane crash. Oh, we went to that little town where they stayed in a hotel. It's near Laughlin. I can't think of the town, but we saw the hotel where they stayed. Clark Gable. And move over, Diamond. There's a new stone in, time, in town. Diamond or a vice tower. Two and a half. $99, either $50 each or $99 for the whole collection. They're beautiful. Stop. Well, thanks for watching.